All right, hey there, guys. So the rest of our day today is going to be a little funky because I am going to continue to be checking over your work while I'm not here with you guys. So before I give you guys your instructions for the rest of the day today, I just want to friendly reminder, field trip is coming up really soon, guys. And um, and, and, I, I, and I mean it, okay? I, I really mean this. Three strikes and you're totally out. You're not coming with us. I'm giving you your refund. So please treat Miss Davis with utmost respect, please, the way you treat me on a daily basis. If you are off task, that's going to earn you a strike. If Miss Davis has to ask you more than once to redirect your behavior, that's a strike. If you cannot demonstrate respect and responsibility in the classroom with Miss Davis or during PE with Mrs. St. Louis, that's going to earn you a strike. If you are showing any verbal or physical aggression at all, take a chill pill, guys. Everything's going to be a-okay. There should be no reason for this happening. And if you're not completing your tasks, I know a lot of you, not going to call anybody out, but I know a lot of you tend to find a bazillion things to distract you, which leads to you not getting your work done. <clears throat> cough, cough, hint, hint. I think you know who I'm referring to. Please get your work done. Today is the last chance you have to perfect these research reports and to create your book. So with that being said, uh, Miss Davis, I am going to leave this for you open in a tab on the computer. So if you need to dole out any, any strikes, please feel free to, to do that as well. Now, because I know you're so wonderful, I don't want to focus on the negatives. Um, so if we are on task and are being respectful and responsible, Miss Davis, please have them add some pom-poms to our Be Your Best bucket. I would like to have one more party before the school year is over. All right, so let me get out of this because you want to have good positive thoughts. Uh, let me switch to the work that you're doing the rest of the day, okay? So as of right now, these four students, Melissa, Paul, Dion, and Chase, I have sat with and we have edited your reports together. Now, everyone else, I know that some of you have just sent me your research reports. So just give me a couple minutes to get home so that I can open up my Chromebook and we can edit those together. So like Josh was saying, um, when he was typing in his Google Docs, he saw my, na my name popping up. That's because I was in his document with him, helping him edit. So let me just turn around really quick. Um, okay, so here is my beautiful research report. Notice I have an introduction, some body paragraphs, and then my conclusion is down at the bottom. Um, friendly reminder again, kiddos, I need to have an introduction. I need to see your body paragraphs. Your body paragraphs is where a lot of you are going to lose points when I grade it because you're not introducing or unpacking your evidence. It's all plagiarized. I told you we're moving away from plagiarism. We're going to be in sixth grade now, coming up really soon. If you plagiarize your research reports, you get an automatic zero. Dun, dun, dun. So I'm trying to prepare you and, um, and get you used to this habit already. Make sure that you're restating your claim at the beginning of every body paragraph. Okay? So once you believe that you have edited and revised your writing to perfection, send it to me. I'll be at home editing and fixing it alongside of you. Speaking of being on your Chromebook, I will have Go Guardian open on my couch, chillaxing. If there's anything funny that I see, I'm calling the classroom and Miss Davis will be taking your Chromebook for the remainder of the day. That would be a real shame. Let's not do that. Let's stay on task, please. Okay? So once I've given you the A-OK -okay to start your book, there are some very important things you need to have on your book. You need to have a cover page. Your cover page needs to have the subtopic, your name, and an image. Okay. 
Next thing, you need to have a table of contents. I just told you before I brought you to lunch, your table of contents. Can you guys see that? I don't know if you can see that or not. The table of contents needs to have the headings and the page number. Next is the causes of the Transcontinental Railroad. That's where my research is going to come into play. I want you to know I copied and I pasted that paragraph from my writing right onto the Google slide. Now, I want to see some text features. Don't just throw a map in there and be like, I have a text feature. Also add a caption like we did earlier with my map of the railroad so that your reader can really understand, okay, this nonfiction text feature is really helping me understand the text better. This, this is the list that you guys put together with me this morning. So let's say, for example, you have a really important vocabulary word. Maybe you might want to bold it. Maybe you might want to do some, ooh, some fun facts. That would be a cool thing to add. Maybe just add a little text box and say, fun fact, did you know? Um, let's see what else. Make sure you have headings and uh, captions. We talked about uh, photographs. You could do a map, a chart. Uh, you could you could label something for us, or maybe you put in a timeline, maybe or a diagram. Um, but then finally, you guys have to have a bibliography. That last page of your book needs to have a list of all the sources that you used. So if you use the History Channel, you're going to write HistoryChannel.com. If you used a book, like I used some books, I would say the Transcontinental Railroad, written by John Peritano. Um, what else could there be? If there was a YouTube video, don't just write YouTube. Write YouTube video and then give me the title of the video as well. You guys have a lot of work to do. All right, so start it right now. I'll be at home. I'll be sending you guys... Um, um, revisions and edits back through Google Docs. Um, feel free to send me any any Google Docs that you want, and I can edit and revise it with you. Um, you're working on your books. I need these books. I need all of these books by 2.05 p.m. So, Melissa, Paul, Dion, and Chase, you guys, I already approved your writing, so you should be able to really easily finish this book by the end of the day. Um, Isaiah and Yamara, you guys are finishing your draft. So once your draft is finished, I want you to begin typing. So during intervention, Isaiah and Yamara, you should start typing your report. All right. That way, at the end of the day, you can uh, start working on your book. All right. Uh, what else? Um, all right. So right after lunch, Miss Davis is going to play this great video of me for you. You're going to begin um, whatever work you have to finish with your report or your book during intervention at 1125. During intervention, you're either finishing your westward expansion or if that's all done and dandy and it's to my standards, then you can just independently read anything of your choosing. At 12 o'clock, we have PE with Mrs. St. Louis in the lower gym. Oh, okay. And then after PE, we're not necessarily doing um, anything new, um, but our plan for math is I am <clears throat> going to leave those math packets that Mr. West gave you this morning. Um, Ms. Davis is going to pass those back to you. You're working on those math packets the rest of the day. Now, if you finish those math packets and there's still plenty of time to spare, luckily for us, we still have spheros in our classroom. So I'm going to leave this up to Miss Davis, depending on your behavior. If your research report is written and sent to me, your book is to our standards and our liking, you finish that math packet Mr. West gave you this morning, then I will ask Miss Davis to allow you to code 
spheros the rest of the day. All right. Um, your homework is already in your mailbox for you. Um, unfortunately, I did not have time, I'm sorry, to take last night's homework out of your folders because I'm in a rush to get out of here. So we'll just leave them in the purple bin um, and I'll check last night's homework and this weekend's homework on Monday when I see you guys. All right. Um, so I'll be checking in with you guys periodically for the rest of the day and uh, have a great weekend, guys.